make something just for the pure joy of creating it. I'm sculpting this fancy chicken. Whoa! Back to another studio vlog. My name is Megan. I'm an illustrator and handcraft artist, and this is my YouTube channel where I do a bunch of art related things. This week it's yet another studio vlog. I'm doing a lot of sculpting, a lot of planning for April's update. I also go through a bit of art block and I talk a bit about kind of what that feels like for me and how I'm gonna get through it. I hope you enjoy. Please don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single week and yeah let's let's get into the video Ta-da! this breakfast These fruit and veggie stamps are so cute. I'm back in the form of a voiceover to just talk about this comic I'm making. Later on in the video, I talk in length uh, quite a bit about art block and just kind of feeling in a creative funk, if you will. But as I was making this comic, I was feeling a bit of that art block and resistance as I was creating and just feeling like, ah, this sucks. Um, or just not really knowing how to put down the idea that I have in my brain on paper, well not really on paper, on a screen, and I ended up downloading these new brushes, they're called the VV Brush Pack, I'll leave a link to them in the description, but I found that sometimes when I'm feeling a bit creatively blocked, especially with drawing and illustration on my iPad, I like to test out new brushes and new materials because I think that helps me think outside of the box a bit, so if you're a digital artist like me, I would recommend testing out some new brushes that you might not normally gravitate towards. And Procreate actually has a bunch of wonderful free brushes, so yeah, I'd recommend just tapping around in the different tabs, like the calligraphy section, have you looked there recently, you know? Test out a bunch of different things and maybe it'll help out a little. Sleep giddy. He's so sleepy spicy. We got a lot of IKEA stuff. Okay, so this big rainbow rug is gonna go in this room. <laughs> it's so cute. It just needs to be. Oh, it's it's got a lot of personality. You can kind of unravel it like this. Whoa! 
that was really satisfying. It's very fun. What's this called? Like low pile? Yeah. It's low, low pile. pile. Wow. Oh, I love it. I'm glad we got this color. Love it. Ooh. I love it. It's so soft. Um, two curtains. Blue and pink, just to bring more color into the apartment. And then we have a whole, we should wipe these down, a whole series of these bins for storage. Just bins. and sense, right? Mm -hmm. containers, containers, containers. More containers. I'm gonna use these for my crafts and like clay things. And I think it'll be a nice way to store everything in a way that looks less messy. This is going to be a square wall shelf. This is a shelf that it can be deployed like this. Mm -hmm. Or it can be displayed like this. I'm That's sure so cool. if I use like anchors and everything, you can probably hang little plants on it or something. Mm. And that is a round coffee table. Alright. Do not scratch it. This is just a new rug. He likes it. Oh my god. Oh, you like it she so much. It no, no, no. She's literally already getting hold. No, spicy. She's already getting holes in it. Oh my god. There are holes in it? Yeah. Oh god, it's already started. But I just spent the last hour or so, yeah, an hour, maybe 30 minutes, trying to organize all my craft supplies. And I don't love it. I think there's something, I don't know. The more I look at it, I'm like, why does it look so cluttered? If you look at the top, I just have jars for painting. I don't know why I have so many jars. Um, I kind of want to get rid of some, but I don't know what to do with them. So that's jewelry glue, and then I have some beading supplies and my findings. In this one, I have paint and my different kinds of gloss varnishes. So I have my Pedico gloss, I have Varathane here, this Liquitex one that I don't like too much. This is just some random packing supplies. This is also packing. I have this little container and I discovered it fits perfectly right there, which is nice. So here are a bunch of my stickers. I want like one of those containers that you pull out and you can have all the stickers in there and it's really easy. Or just even something with like grids so I can put the stickers in and then not have to like fumble with all these bags that they come in. But for now, I'm just gonna keep it like this. There's prints, these are my thank you cards. Uh, Post-its for when I write my thank you notes. And then I have some tiny glassine bags which I put stickers in. I just put this box I have storing all my envelopes on top of it, but I don't really know where to put this to make it look nice. But this one is a clay box. Clay things I made a while ago. Like this is a, one of my old charms that I have, and I never made it into an earring because this is back when I used UV resin. The resin sort of flowed over and then solidified at the top, and then I was never able to put it through and make it into an earring, which is really sad, but these clay tools I was gifted big hunk of Padico air dry clay, which I will be using to make my earrings for April. And this little cute uh, 4x4 container, I have all my clay cutters. I have all my beads. And in this last container is just my printmaking tools. I thought, I didn't realize this these boxes would be this color. I'm not really crazy about them. I wish they were more of a lighter color, not as a khaki colored, but to spruce it up, I just put some stickers that I've been hoarding. This is from Annie, AKA Tabatai. This one is from Radia. That's a Lacunian pants. Here, this is from Malin. That's from Kara, Kara Kanani. This is Tiffany sticker. And this is also from Malin. That's what it looks like now. This is my new muse, fancy Japanese chickens, and I'm gonna sculpt it. Also, very important information to tell you all. She's passed out. She's passed out.
While I sculpt, I thought I would just chat with you all and just share some of what I've been thinking about lately. Um, I'm sculpting this fancy chicken. I don't know, I've been feeling a little rough these past few days creatively. I feel like I went through like an art high phase when I was making like my froggies and I was doing my shop update and then I just made like a really popular comic and my account is growing. I've been getting like a thousand followers a week, which is absolutely wild. Um, and I'm very grateful for the boost, but at the same time, it's like making me feel like I have to keep on performing. I'm taught myself which I just don't want to feel when I'm making art too. And, and I even made a comic that said how my numbers fluctuate is not indication of my quality of work and how good I am as an artist. But sometimes it gets to you and I don't want to pretend like I'm above, you know, feeling some type of way. Like when a comic or, you know, when a post doesn't do as well and you don't get a lot of engagement. Like it does make you feel a little bad about yourself sometimes, which sucks. But it's hard to unlearn a lot of those things sometimes. Catering to something I feel like people want from me is only gonna get me so far. I have to stay like true to myself and make art that I just simply wanna make because I wanna make it. And I think that is more sustainable than just me making things that I think people wanna see and that I think are gonna go viral or I think are gonna get a lot of likes. Like I should be making art that just makes me happy. The way that she's like reclined is so funny. I found that when I'm feeling particularly creatively blocked, going back to making little clay things really helps me. Because I feel like when I work with clay rather than illustration, it just feels more comforting and it feels like more of a safe space for me, if that makes sense. Like it feels like it's okay if I make dumb things and it's okay if I make mistakes and okay if things don't look perfect. But I think when I do illustration, yeah, all those rules still apply, but I just get in my head a lot more. I get in my head a lot about how like, ugh, this looks bad, or oh, you don't know what you're doing. And... ...that is more simplified for me, and I guess in turn becomes my style. Created by Addy asks, how long have you been doing digital art? Um... <laughs> Pretty good. Finish my chicken. So I put all my clay things in the oven and they're just baking right now. And it's like 10.30 in the morning, so I still have a lot of time to get some stuff done today. Today, what is on the roster is I want to design a sticker for my next April shop update. I think what I've decided is that I'm just gonna do one sticker a month. And that's pretty manageable for me. It doesn't put too much pressure. And it's really tricky when you run a shop because then there's kind of always the fear that you'll order something and like put money down for getting it and then it won't really sell and then it's just kind of sometimes it's not always really worth it to buy a bunch of stickers and have like two sell and then you end up being at a loss which does sometimes happen to me so i think getting one sticker a month is something manageable and more of a smart business decision so i'll be designing one sticker 
I think I'm going to make it of the froggies. Just because people like them and I think it's cute. So I'm gonna have this be a sticker. And I, I really love making my clay items into stickers because I just think it looks really three-dimensional and fun. I'm going to paint my pet pins because those have to go out soon. I really like painting pet pins because it's just nice to stylize and illustrate people's pets on a piece of clay. While I'm painting, I think I will probably get around to painting some of the clay items I did. I made off camera, I made three little stamps and I've been thinking about making clay stamps for a while and they're going to be Tamagotchi stamps and I'm gonna paint little Tamagotchi characters on them. I think they'll be really cute as like magnets that I can put on the fridge. Uh, so I'll be painting those as well as the other clay items. Maybe my fancy chicken I'll get to painting today too. I feel like that'll take up the majority of the day. I've been thinking about art block a lot lately and just how for me sculpting and just doing clay things is a really good way to get out of art block. Cause I don't know, I think maybe it's cause I'm in quarantine and I don't see anybody. I don't really do anything um, other than like play Stardew Valley and work on my art. I don't know, time can be very weird. So I'll feel like, oh my God, it's been so long since I posted something. It's been so long since I made like a piece of art that a bunch of people liked, but it'll be literally a week ago. But I'll be like, I have to, I have to keep, I have to keep up. Yeah, I'm trying to kind of remove myself from that because personally, I feel like a lot of my art block stems from social media and how I start to self-criticize and be like, oh my God, everyone's so talented. I'm not talented. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of my insecurities as artists come out a lot. I think that just comes with like being on Instagram too much. It's a double-edged sword because I love going on Instagram. I love talking to other artists and like seeing what people are doing. There is some threshold where it becomes a point where I, I start comparing myself too much. And I guess I want to be more aware of when I'm doing that so I can step back and just work on my own stuff. I'm trying my best to just sort of let go of expectations let go of this conception that I have to make like something go viral every time I make art which is just not true like I can make something just for the pure joy of creating it making these clay thingies will help that a little because as I was sculpting I kind of felt myself get into that flow um, and that kind of mindset of just like I'm having a lot of fun and sometimes I think that makes the best art at the end of the day too so hopefully um, everything will come out nice <laughs> she just sits there and chomps on the butterfly Yes. Super quick, I thought I'd show you the coffee table. I think it looks amazing. I'm in love with it. It's so small and brown and cute. And I think it really brings the space together and the rug, I just think it looks really cozy. Okay, so quick pro tip that I only recently learned, unfortunately, is that you really have to make sure you pay attention to your color profiles when sending something to be printed. And something I like to do is open up a sticker on Photoshop and then making sure the color profile is in CMYK. Just go to edit, convert to profile, and working CMYK, hit okay, then it'll convert it. Sometimes that does make the colors a bit less vibrant, so then you can edit it from there. And then after, when you're all finished and satisfied, if you use sticker app like me, I think a good thing to save as is as a Photoshop PDF. Uh, that is what sticker app actually recommends you upload your file as, and I found that this PDF version gives the most accurate colors, which is super important when you're doing stickers and stuff. Hello, Voice Over Me is back. I wanted to talk briefly about these clay stamps I made. I was very inspired, obviously, by Tamagotchi. I'm literally painting Tamagotchi characters, and I had a lot of fun making them. And when I posted the photo of them on Instagram, I had some people also comment about their childhood Tamagotchi experiences <laughs> because I put in my caption something like, 
I really love playing with Tamagotchi and as I was a kid, I would keep them in like my desk compartment in elementary school, but then I would always get so stressed out because you couldn't really mute the Tamagotchis. I don't know if they have evolved. I've seen one of the newest advanced Tamagotchis and it just looks so futuristic, but you know, back in the old days, <laughs> back in the old days, you couldn't mute it. So I would literally be in like first grade, um, like writing something on the board for the class. And then my Tamagotchi would just be like beeping because I forget why they would beep. I think you had to clean up their poo and you had to feed them too. So I'd get really stressed out because we weren't supposed to have like electronics and stuff in class, but it was a lot of fun. I just have a lot of memories of secretly playing with my Tamagotchi <laughs> during class. But I kind of want to get back into playing Tamagotchi again. I found one of my old ones I got, like when I from when I was a kid back at my parents' house, and I have to get like the battery you put in it to make it work. But I think I should do that. I think that'll be really fun. I was the other day I was just thinking about Tamagotchi, and I was just like I really want to play it, but I didn't find the Tamagotchi at my parents' house yet. So I tried downloading an app, and then. Um, it was just not the same. The experience was not the same as when you kind of hold the actual egg. Um, but I also sort of want to get into like the new modern ones. I've been watching the Forest Mori play her newer Tamagotchi on her story and it looks like the most fun. You can, you can like get Sanrio characters now and it's also sparkly and your Tamagotchi like goes out and gets a job or something. I don't know. I feel like there's a lot more expanded things you can do. Um, I don't know if that would get too overwhelming, but yeah, I think I'm going to look into that. If you have played the newer Tamagotchis or you own one, please comment down below or DM me. I want to know what the gameplay and your experience is like because I'm genuinely considering playing it. Because as we all know, I've been really enjoying Stardew Valley lately, and I think maybe I should be playing just more games in general. This is breakfast. I honestly feel like I just eat eggs and avocado just in as many different ways as I can think of. It's Thursday, and I'm gonna finish wrapping up these pet pins and then shipping them out. I'm sorry there's not a lot of finished products to show you because I did a lot of sculpting this week, but hopefully next week you'll see a lot of the finished items. Yesterday I finished these guys and I really like- oh let me arrange them properly, my bad. I still have to glue the magnets on the back, but since it's like personal and not for, you know, for my Etsy store, I can just do that on my own time, which is really nice. And I also finished these pet magnets that I sell on my Etsy. I use the Pedico gloss, as you can see, they're quite shiny. And I'm just gonna wrap these up and send them out. I really like how you can see all the brush strokes and stuff. I still really like making pet pins. Um, I definitely do not do Animal Crossing pins anymore. Sometimes I'll get the occasional DM of someone asking me like, oh, can I get an Animal Crossing pin? I have to tell them, no, I don't do that anymore. And I didn't want to make them because I also felt like there was nothing of me in it. I was just replicating what I saw or I would just look up the villager and I would just recreate it without any kind of stylization. But I feel like what I was doing was just copying exactly what the villager looked like. And not only is that kind of a no-no in the copyright world, it just felt like really heartless to me in that like I wasn't putting any of myself in that work and it was just super unfulfilling after a while. And I started doing the pet pins around the same time that I was doing my Animal Crossing pins and I, I like doing the pet pins more because I get to interpret um, whatever someone's pet looks like. And with that also comes like a lot of trust from my client or my customer and me because they're really putting their blind faith in me being like, okay, well, here's the picture of my pet and I trust you to do what you will with it, which is really, really cool and nice that people trust me. And it's a really fun exercise for me as well, so.
we've made it to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me for so long. I hope you're doing well. I hope the week ahead of you is relaxing and okay. And take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.